Hi guys, so welcome back to Let's Reads. So in today's video, which I'm really excited about because I have discovered some new authors that I have uh, never really heard of. Um, as you guys know, I did a video talking about, you know, my guide to um, really discovering and reading books by Blacks that are not, you know, um, just well known. I classify them as unsung Blacks. Um, and I have some new ones that, like I said, I've never heard of, never saw. Um, and I want to share them with you. I'm, I'm really excited. I, you know, this has become a hobby of mine where I, um, you know, just discover these wonderful black authors that, again, they're just not splashed everywhere. You don't see them because there's more than just, you know, the standard Tony and Maya and Alice and Hurston. There, there's more. <laughs> we have so many more. So, um, I do want to share, uh, the four books that I picked up. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first one is Asha Bandle. I think that's how pronounce it's called Daughter. Um, again, never heard of her. Um, it's, when I was doing the synopsis, it looks like it's about a, um, obviously it says a fragile complex complexity of a mother and a daughter bond, but I believe the daughter is shot. It's a shot by a white police officer. So that's going to be kind of tough. Um, but, you know, when I was at the bookstore and I saw the synopsis, I was like, this is probably something that I'm I'm going to like. Um, I don't know why, but I tend to like trauma filled books. Weird, but I just don't know. But yeah, um, this is right up my alley. So and I love the cover. The cover is so pretty. Next is What Looks Like Crazy on an Ordinary Day by Pearl Cleave. Cleave? I think no I've heard of Pearl um she's a playwright um but I've never read any of her books I think this is out of this list this probably was the one that I've heard of I know all of her books are based in Michigan um or Atlanta so I'm like I said I'm excited to read it next is Fifth Born by Zelda Lockhart um again what gravitated me towards this was the cover like look at this beautiful girl she looks so pretty um so I know it's she's obviously she's the fifth born but she is born um in a house that is just horrible she is being being molested by her father um also she witnesses a murder um and she's like the main um uh, witness but she doesn't want to come forward so this is going to be a heavy hitter. Um, yeah, uh, but I'm, I'm excited to read it. So, And the last one is Donna Hill, An Original Woman. Now, the cover, amazing. You know, guys know I'm a sucker for covers. But when I saw the blurb, I'm like, I'm getting it. It says, a novel about friendship, marriage, and adultery. Come on, you guys know how I love that time, uh, that tea and that drama. I, I can't wait. I know it's about, um, it says about three friends, um, two women and a um, man, and they go on a road trip together. And you basically, um, you know, just see how they, you know, basically navigate in the world. And it's like past and present. Oh my goodness. Now, I'm, I think out of this whole list, I'm really excited to read this because y'all know how I, I like that drama so guys I am so excited to read all of these books um like I stated before you know there's so many more black authors that you know need to be discovered need to be read and you know us just reading the same ones you can get kind of monotonous and for me like I, I can't deal with anything that's laborious um but I'm just so glad that I have discovered these authors these um these new authors um well they're not new because these are like older books but they're new to me um and that just goes to show you that um these books have been around for years and I'm just now discovering them in 2022 so we have a whole range that we can you know pick from so yeah guys that's all I have for you and I'll be back with more videos bye